I'm trying to find the best light. That's always the issue. The light is better. It's always better to face the window, right? So the light is better here, but that's a bit distracting in the background. So I'm going to do it here, which means the light isn't quite as great. So I apologize. I'm working on lighting. Um, so in the future, the lighting will be a little bit better. So I apologize. This is me. So this is me 100% no makeup. This is post gym. I'm I didn't work out clothes on. I did a dance class actually. It was uh, it was like a dance fitness. It was less dance, more fitness. But I'm going to. I don't wear a lot of makeup. I like the really natural look. Um, for me, I think that we should be focused more on our natural beauty. It's fun to have fun. Obviously, as a model, I like getting made up and having glow and essentially makeup allows you to be different personalities which is really fun the same as fashion but it's also really important for me to do natural makeup too to let your like inner glow come out so i am going to show you some of my favorite products and tips that you can get that natural glow and we're going to start in layers so we'll go from completely completely natural to a little bit more so let me see this is only my second live stream ever I'm still fairly new to this, so let me figure out. Hold on, how do I go on air? Let me see. <laughs> let me so I can see the comments. Um. Oh wait. So hold on. Mute myself. <laughs> um. I don't know. Hey, Luke. How are you? Yo, Renee. Welcome. You guys, please share and like. Uh, this is brand new, so. Let's see. I don't know. I need to learn how to pop out the chat. Let me see. So I can see. Okay, cool. So I can see the hangout. So I can see the video and still the, to the chat. So I'm going to start. This might not be that exciting if you guys are guys, but I'm sure if you have sisters or someone, you can tell them about this. Um, so I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite products to start with. And again, with makeup, there's so much toxins and chemicals in makeup. I'm actually going to do a whole stream that is all about detoxing your beauty. I will do be doing that fairly soon. But right now, oh, sorry. I should have set up the background. I didn't think about this stuff. I was just really excited to do it. So the lighting, again, is not great, but we're going to work on that. Um, So rose water. This one actually is different than what's in here. But, and again, I will go do other streams where I focus more on the products and stuff. Right now it's just as simple. So Rose Rotter is a really good base. It's really hydrating. It's good for um, a mist. It also smells really good. So it just gives you that natural glow. If you want to do no, no makeup and you want that glow, start with Rose Rotter. So I'm going to go through, and especially if you do it after the gym, it's really refreshing. Um, Doing great from Big Tech. Hey, Andrew, how are you? Yo, Brenton, welcome everyone. If you can please share me and like me, comment, all of this helps. So I'm doing a natural no makeup glow and we're going to build up. So right now this is the star base. Absolutely no makeup and no beauty filter. This is me. Okay. So the next one, Becca First Light Priming Filter. I really like this. It's really interesting because it has a lavender tint to it. So there's two. I'm going to do one on either side so you can see the difference. The other one is Becca Backlight Priming Filter. So they're both um, priming filters, but one is Backlight and one is First Light. One has a more golden glow. Another has a lavender glow, and lavender neutralizes any red. So if you have any redness in your skin, this will neutralize it. So I'm gonna do one on either side so you can kind of see the difference. But I love glowy skin. It's my go-to. I feel like glowy skin looks really healthy. Matt is maybe good like at more at night. Matt is good if she don't look too shiny, but I just like that natural. I'm a beach girl. I'm from Mexico. I just like the really natural glowy skin look. Uh, my beautiful filter is all natural. Thank you. Yeah, this is me 100% all natural. Okay. Oh, actually, I do have a tiny, tiny bit of mascara at the ends because I went to the gym. That's the only thing I have on. Okay. So we are going to start. I'm going to put on the right side, on this side. We will do the Becca backlight priming filter. And again, watch out. I'm going to do a whole stream on detoxing your beauty. But if there's one thing you don't want in your products, it's parabens. So this is number one. So parabens are not caused but are linked to cancer. Um, basically what parabens are, or they're a filler. 
but any filler that you put in your beauty products, you're also putting that filler in your body. So, and it's a or sorry, it's a preservative. So basically, anything will last on the shelf forever. It makes the toxins and things last in your body as well. So avoid. Okay, so it's a really pretty golden color. And again, this is um, Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I'll be doing more makeup streams later, but this is just going to be a quick, easy. Um, yo, Jay Valdez, if you're not following me, you guys, please follow me. You guys are probably all following me, but if you're not, please do. I'm new here, so any and all love, share me, follow me. It's all super appreciated. Okay. By the way, some people know me from another app with, which has a beauty filter, so now you guys get to see me. Beauty filter list. So I'm gonna do the right side, the golden glow, just to kind of show the difference. So this has nothing, and this has the golden glow. So, oh, golden glow, like the golden globes. Okay. So I'm gonna go in the light so you can see. Oh. Do you see the difference? So the right is the golden glow. This is nothing. So do you see, it already makes me look more like shiny and happy, right? So after you go to the gym or if you want to go to the gym and don't want to wear a lot of makeup, it's a really good natural, natural glow. And again, it has, it just has a golden tint. So it's not going to conceal if you have spots, if you have, I have freckles. So it doesn't conceal the spots but it does give you the natural glow. So I'm gonna do the purple one with the lavender, just so you can see this is the first light, so you can see the difference. And you can see the residue on my skin. There's a little bit of the gold. Now I'm gonna put the lavender. And by the way, if you guys have sisters or moms, these are great products. Women love to be glowy. It's like a thing. <laughs> this, yeah, this is my second stream ever. Okay, actually I'm gonna do it first here. I'm gonna sit down and then I'll do it. Because what is glowy, right? There's your skin, but there's this is from the outside. So I'm gonna show, focus on a lot of content that is from the inside out. So I'm drinking my vegan kale smoothie. I'm going to, what you put in your, what you put in comes out, right? So eating healthy, even a lot of plant-based products makes a huge difference. Berries are really good for skin, flax seeds, um, natural oils are really, really good for skin. So I will be doing a lot of streams that are focused from beauty from the inside out, but this is from the outside in. Okay. But it's all correlated. It's all interrelated. So you don't want to put chemicals and toxins in your body. So again, watch out for parabens. So I'm going to show you guys the difference. Facts. I know, right? Go, go, you came. Okay. So I'm going to stand in the light so you can really see. So this is the golden light, and this is the lavender. Okay, I wanna know you boys, do you have a preference? By the way, so women, there's a lot of things we can do to trick the no makeup or the I woke up like this, or filters, or especially nowadays, right? There's so many filters. I've heard a lot of guys that go on the dating apps and they're like, she looks nothing like that in real life. Um, so this is a way to be more true to who you really are, right? To be more natural. It's just to enhance and highlight, but not necessarily like completely cover or make a new character. So this is the lavender. This is the gold. Preferences. Can you <laughs> okay. Um, thank you, Real Country Videos. Okay. But do you boys have a preference for gold or lavender? Yeah. By the way, they're like, why is she wearing this sports bra to do a makeup video? Because I came from the gym and the whole point is a supernatural post gym glow. I actually did come from the gym. Another thing that's really good for your skin is steaming. So if you do belong to a gym where you can steam after, it's after you work out and you get your blood, blood pumping and flowing, then the steam is amazing. And then after the steam or in the steam to do a cold shower. But... Um, if you don't have that, you can actually create your own steam bath. Just, oh my gosh, I have berries. I'm so, <laughs> I have berries still from my smoothie. I didn't obviously wash my hands. Wash your hands before you apply your makeup. Um, <laughs> you like the gold. Renee likes the gold, which you guys like. Yeah, so the lavender is a little bit flatter. So especially in this light, the lavender, this one is a bit more flat. And then the gold is like, it, it glows, right? It bounces the light, bounces back on it. The lavender just makes you more e even and neutral. I actually prefer the gold as well. Again, but I like that super, super glow. Okay. 
So next, Pacifica All Light Multi Mineral BB Cream. So this one doesn't have sunblock. I, if I'm going out during the day, it's really important to do sunblock, sunblocks without harsh chemicals. Um, but I, I wanted to show one that is not sunblock because I think sunblock we don't need it as well. And when you're going out at night or if you're going to the gym or you're working out, you don't want sunblock. And, and even if it's more natural still, you don't want to sweat and have sunblock unless you're working out outside. Okay. So I'm gonna put this on all over. Uh, you can also use uh, the sponges, but I, or a brush, but I feel like sometimes those take up a little bit of product and I just, I don't do it. I'm fine with my hands. Like I, they're my own hands, they don't scare me. But if you feel more comfortable, you can do it with a brush or a sponge. So Renee likes the gold. Anyone else, no one else is commenting or is anyone else is here? I know. <laughs> say hello, say hi, okay. And again, we're going to work on the lighting in here. So. And make sure, especially if the color doesn't match exactly, make sure you get it all the way in to your jaw. And for pictures, you want to do it here in your chest if you're going to take any pictures. So it's it's the same color. And I'm going to be doing a lot more modeling streams on posing and stuff if you guys have questions about that. Okay. So if you see, I still have that glow. And it just neutralizes. It makes me all more one color. And it um, it just evens my skin tone. So again, like I said, I'm going to start in layers. And let me know if you have questions about my vegan smoothie. At the end, I'm going, I'm going to be doing smoothies on here, but I'll show you some of the stuff that I put in here. Okay, is anyone here? I'm like, should I stay on? Or I know I'm brand new, and there's a lot of guys in here, so let's see. Um, oh, I have four thumbs up. You guys, if anyone is in, if anyone is in here, please give me a thumbs up too. That matters a lot. Hi, Pamela. How are you? So I'm just showing, I don't know. Did you just come in? If anyone just came in or if you have any questions, let me know. So I'm showing a paraben free makeup. Um, that is because wellness is very important to me. Um, I'm going to do a lot of streams focused on glowing from the inside out, but this is from the outside in. So we started with the rose water spray. And then I did on the right side, I did the gold light filler. And the left side, I did the first light priming filter. So you can kind of see the difference. The right is slightly more glowy. Is that like, if you see, you can see the sheen a little bit. And then the left is a little bit more flat. It just neutralizes, lavender neutralizes red. So if you have any red pigmentation or uneven skin tone. Oh, you just came in, welcome. I'm brand new on here. This is only my second live stream ever. Um, so let me know if you have any questions. My name is Carolina, model traveling. For me, it's really important. My streams are gonna focus on beauty, wellness, fitness. I come from the modeling industry. And I think a lot of times, like our job is to basically just say yes to whatever client, right? Or sometimes there's unrealistic expectations or there's a lot of harmful, there's harmful aspects about the industry. And I just want to offer people an opportunity to know both sides of it. And there's also beautiful things. I, I love what I do and I'm grateful for the amazing ability um, to model and to travel what that has taught me. But it's also possible to do it in a more holistic way. So I'm just gonna talk about the things that I've learned, the tips and the tricks. I'm a big meditator, so I'm gonna be doing meditation streams as well. I actually, a lot of times too, I'll put binaural beats in the background. So if you see, curl your eyelashes. You guys, if you do nothing else, I swear, if you put no makeup on, curl your eyelashes. And Pamela, let me know if you have any questions. Um, this eyelash curler is from Shiseido. I also love the one from Shu Amura. They're both Japanese. The the um, the dip in them are slightly different. So for Shiseido, if your eyes are slightly more flat, like mine are, I prefer the Shiseido. If your eyes are slightly more like rounded, then um, the Shu Amura one works well. I feel like for more like the white, I'm not, I'm Mexican. So I have a little bit more like almond and my eyes slightly more flatter here. So this works better for me. So I feel like for, for Asians and for um, like different like types where it's more flat eyeball, that the Shiseido is preferable. And then if you have more the rounded eyeball, then the Shuamura. 
about with the shoe amarami is too rounded so it doesn't get all the way into the lash line so you want to go all the way into the lash line and this is me starting without makeup but do you see the difference so the right eye i curl my eyelashes this one i did curl it earlier but it hasn't been for a while so it really makes your eyes pop and it just makes you look fresh my eyelashes are long and curled naturally i love that no it's not painful i swear <laughs> it's not painful okay and i really need to work the lighting because it'll make a much difference when the lighting is better but okay so look, this is literally, so so far, the only makeup we have on is these back lights and the all light BB cream. Super, super natural and curl my eyelashes. If you just did that, like you look fresh, glowy, happy. I am going to show you a few more products, so concealer products that are amazing. And again, for this one, it's a natural glow, so I'm not doing foundation. I feel foundation is a little bit heavier, but I do have, if you guys need a foundation, this one, the Ultra CC Cream um, Radiant Foundation with SPF 17. I really like this one as well. Ooh, look, we have the natural wind blower. Whenever you do, I do a lot of beauty stuff, and when you have like the wind, it just adds life to the photo, so. Thank you, Wynn, for coming in and visiting us. <laughs> okay. And thank you for those of you who are still here. So I like to line my lips. I don't wear lipstick a lot. This is NYX Nude Pink. NYX is an inexpensive brand. It probably is not the best for some of the things. Um, I think some of the products probably do have parabens in it. But just for a lip liner, I feel like it's just a little, just the outline, so. But definitely something that you put on the more porous aspects of your skin, foundation and stuff, you definitely want it to be um, paraben free and as chemical free as possible. So you really need to start to be a mindful consumer and check the Vatica products too, it's up to you. Thank you, Luke. Uh, thank you, Pamela. Let me know again if you have any questions. Okay, so because we're going with this glow, I love this highlighter. I'm kind of obsessed. Essence Pure Nude. And again, this one doesn't, let me see. There are some things on here that are probably not like the best. So for me, it's a matter of eliminating the things that are really, really not great for you and then working from there. So I'm gonna do a, a video actually coming up soon in the next month that is a detox your beauty routine. And then I'm gonna de detox your laundry because laundry is a place that people don't think of, but it makes a huge difference because you're wearing those clothes every day. You're sleeping on those sheets and a lot of laundry products have chemicals in them. And so makeup is the last place that I haven't fully committed. So I do my best again to be mindful of the products and what I put in. I'm not a hundred percent there. So if there's something where you're like, that's not completely like a clean product. Okay, I own it. I don't do anything perfectly. But I do think it's like anything in life is balance and, and cutting out the most harmful things first and then working from there. And so because your skin is the biggest, like the largest pores on your body, I do make sure that the body lotions I put on, the oils, the body wash, that that stuff, I'm super mindful about it. And then with things that I put on smaller parts of my body, like just a little bit of this stuff, working on it. Um, vitamin, vitamin D and magnesium deficient. Yeah, actually I was vitamin D deficient. What people don't talk about, so I'm that girl that comes to California, moves to California and becomes vitamin D deficient. So you do get vitamin D from the sun, but I'm a writer, so I do stay inside a lot. <laughs> or when you're modeling, I'm like inside a lot. Oh, by the way, so I'm just gonna show really quickly. I do at the tip of my nose here to highlight my cheekbones. You can do a little bit here on your chin. And you don't wanna do it across your forehead, but just here on the top. But if you want, if you have a big forehead, like I have a larger forehead and you don't wanna highlight this, you can actually do bronzer to diminish it to create shadow. So think about it, shadow is for anything you want smaller and highlighter is for anything you want to pop. So for me, I have kind of a larger nose. I have my ethnic nose. I'm um, Mexican, indigenous, I'm, I'm everything. Um, but I do have like a larger pointed nose. So if you want to not make that pop as much, you can put bronzer to slim it down. So re just remember, bronzer, shadows to hide. Think of darkness, shadows to hide, and highlighter to pop. 
Okay. So then I'm going to show you guys the magic maker. Oh, but back to vitamin D deficiency. Sorry. Yeah. So what I didn't realize you guys, so vitamin D is also found in dairy products as well. So if you don't go out into the sun a lot, or if you wear sunscreen and then you do alternative milks, um, all milk, cashew milk, that, and you're not doing dairy, then it's much easier to become vitamin D deficient, which I became. And it's actually quite harmful. People don't realize it affects so much. Okay. IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Illuminator. Obsessed. Watch. I'm going to show you guys one side. And this is actually for boys as well because you can do it for to conceal your under eyes. Again, I'm not wearing foundation. I just spot treat. So little areas, blemishes, things I have. So watch, I'm gonna show you guys, it's magic. So you just do like one, two, three, and always be careful your eye, the skin's really fragile there, and that's where aging or lines start to show first. So never pull, just lightly blend. Even when you're putting on lotion, anything you do, you just wanna lightly tap and allow the heat of your finger to, um, to warm it up and melt it into your skin. Don't pull. So I'm just going to show you guys the difference. Hold on. Let me come into the light. For, oh, wait. Can you see? The light keeps going in and out. But So I'm going to show you one side versus the other. Do you see this side is a bit more purple? And then I like really bright under eyes. I feel like it makes you look rested. It makes you look more youthful. Um, gives you that natural, healthy glow. Look at the difference. So I'm just going to show one side. And then I'll do the other. So you can see the difference. I like seeing comparisons. Because sometimes, especially when it's a natural look, it's harder to see. You're like, what just happened? I'm like, she looks natural. That's the point. <laughs> but it's good to see comparisons. Okay. So then this one is Becca Under Eye Brightening Concealer. Anything that has brightening and the pigmentation is really going to help. And you want it to be slightly lighter than your color, and you can put foundation over it. This you all do this free foundation again. I'm not going to wear a foundation, but you could if you want to. I'm just going to show again. You just tap. I also do it here. I get a little bit red under my nose, so I do it around my nose. I do it, and then sometimes I like small blemishes here under my lips. Or it's not just blemishes, a little bit of redness. So it helps hide redness. It just evens your skin tone without having to put foundation all over your skin. I believe your skin wants to breathe, right? Like it needs to breathe naturally. And so if you put foundation or you put too many products, that's when they get backed up and you get pimples, or you get blemishes because you're not allowing your skin to breathe. Look, look like the wind. Allow the skin, your skin to breathe. Um, thank you, Real Country. Okay. So do you see the difference? Still super natural. It's not, it's like the no makeup makeup look. It's like the, I woke up like this. But you actually put a little something something on. Okay, so now that I showed you the difference, this is done, not done. And I'll show again the products. IT and Becca. We're gonna go on the other side. So we're even Steven. And let me know if you have any questions. And then I'm, I'm gonna end this stream fairly soon. So this is your last chance. And I, I appreciate those of you for hanging out with me. Please share like, um, again, I'm, I'm brand new on here. So any and all love is super appreciated. I did my first video recently, um, four days ago. It's already doing really well, it's well received. I'm really, content to me is really important. I have learned a lot through modeling and traveling in life and I wanna pass that on to you. Oh wait, I also want to show you, so watch. Did you see I had that little freckle? Look at this, it's magic. It makes a little freckle go away. So if you have freckles, spots, blemishes, anything you want to hide, I have a few little freckles. It's the Irish in me. And again, this one I also do a little bit under my nose. Do you see? That's my word of the year, by the way. What is your word of the year? So, Renee, have I asked you this yet? Um, do any of you guys have a word of the year? I'm actually going to do a meditation, if you don't have one yet, where you can find what your word of the year is. But mine is magic, security, and collaboration. 
Those are my words. I hate how the light goes in and out. How do I make the light stay? Come on, sunshine. <laughs> I, want, I don't know what to Renee, do you know how to make the light stay? Okay, again, remember, don't pull. Tap. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, we're gonna be super close to done. Do you see? Now that you have the even glow, then you can add. So we have the um, we have the BB cream, we have the highlighter, we have the concealer. So we have a very natural, even face now. Then you can add color and dimension. Um, you don't have a word of the year. Yo, Diego, how are you? Where in the world is Carmen Diego? <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna use this. It's called Coral Sheen by Bonnie Bell, Blush and Go. I like this because it's just easy. It's like easy swipe, easy healthy go flow. So if you want that fresh look, um, coral or a kind of red, I like the Benetint um, red. Um, I forgot what it's called, but it's the Benetint like red. Uh, it's in a little bottle and it looks kind of like a nail polish and you just tap on just anything that gives you that natural flush look. And because the light is not great, you can't fully see it here, so I'm gonna go over there in that light. May add a little bit more. But peachy tones, pink tones, basically think of yourself when you're flush, what color are you? And everyone's different, whatever color you are, that's, the, that's gonna probably most likely be the most natural look on you for the natural flush glow. So if you're doing a natural flush glow and you wanna keep that, um, you probably don't want to put on like a really intense or bright color, but maybe you do. Maybe that's the thing you highlight. That's the thing. When you have a basic palette or a face, then you can use, you can do a bright lip or you can do an eye. You can do something to get highlighted. I like to focus on just one feature. That's me. But... And then I'm this illuminating palette. I am Bo. I know, but you change your name, right? Just sweep up on the balls of your cheeks. But the apples, the apples in your cheeks, and go up. <laughs> it's so funny. Makeup is the one thing because I'm used to makeup artists doing my face, but I've just learned, and for castings as well, it's just really good to learn to do this natural glow look. Okay, so next I'm going to do my eyebrows. This is Anastasia. If you want the really, really natural look, um, Ico has a gray uh, brush. Um, it kind of looks like a mascara wand or you can just use any pencil and just kind of brush it in so it looks natural. So this, you just, it's a little smudge pot and you just take it in and just fill in. So your eyebrows are basically, think of them as the frame to your eyes, right? Anything that frames is really important. If you guys aren't following me, please follow me. My Mac battery is low, so hopefully the stream doesn't die. I might go get my um, charger or I might just end it quickly. But if you can see, I'm just lightly filling in just to highlight and enhance. Like my feature, I really like my eyes. So it's a way to highlight and enhance your eyes and still be really natural. Okay, and I'm just going to put a mascara and then we'll be done. Um, oh, thank you, Real Country Videos. I like it. It's so important to me. And again, I want to give people different options because I know a lot of like right now, the popular thing is to do the contouring and to do a lot of makeup. And that's great and it's fun and it's beautiful and it has this place, but it takes up a lot of time. It's also putting a lot of product on your face and not fully allowing it to breathe. So I just want to give people options, just different options, you know, that are maybe a bit more natural. So I start from the bottom, ah, and kind of wiggle up. Sorry, I'm trying to, I've never really done this on a camera like this, but it's okay if you mess up, it's just. Sorry, up my nose shot. Wiggle it just a little bit. Come on and wiggle it. And I go on the inside. And then I do, oh, sorry. I'm not normally this messy, but it's not the easiest, by the way, to do it the stream this way. To look at you and then look at, basically, I'm using the um, playback as my mirror. And I like to do just lightly. Not really, if you can see the difference, this is without it, this is with it. Again, it just makes you pop a bit more but super, super lightly. You don't want fully, you just want the under eye bottom ones. And especially if you are gonna do this before you go to the gym, 
you don't want to have that sweat drench face all over. So if you're going to go to the gym, I just put it on the tips, just the tip. So I put the mascara on the tip, on the top, and on the bottom. Okay, so that's it. My fresh, easy makeup, um, no makeup makeup look, glowy, natural. And then I will show you guys. And then you can throw on chapstick or color on your lips if you want it. I don't do lipstick a lot. It kind of dries out. But I like this. This is um, Rebel Rose by Big and Sexy. And I actually really like it. We'll put some on. It's just a natural rosy color. Or there's also tinted lip balms as well. So I'm just going to show you guys in the light. And thank you for those of you who stuck with me. Um, like, comment, DM me. Give me a thumbs up if you haven't, please. And just tell me what you want to see more of. So fresh, easy, natural. Oh, and by the way, my hair. I just lightly curled the bottoms and put in product and just squeezed. So it's that natural, natural look. I'm into natural beauty, so. And then one of these streams soon will do posing and modeling 101. So I do a lot of beauty as well as fitness. So I'll teach you um, natural poses to do, to give you the best pictures ever. Thank you for your love. Oh, really? That's amazing. Thank you, guys. I love you. Thank you for your love and loyalty. Have an amazing day. Love and light, everyone. And please like and comment. And please go to my How to Stay Fitness Motivated and like and comment on that video. It makes a really big difference. And watch it all the way through if you can, please. Watch time really, really matters. Thank you, Adrian. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I love you all. Have a great day. Follow me if you're not, please.